In this example, we have 56 hundredths plus 7 and 1 tenth. The most important thing to do is to make sure that we line up our decimal points. Let's start by writing both decimal points and then we'll write our numbers in. I'll write one decimal point up here for the first number and another down here for the second number. Next, I'll write in my values. For the right of the decimal point, I have a 5, then a 6. So I'll write 5, and then I'll leave a little space and write 6. To the left of the decimal point, I have a 0. So I'll write that in as well. Next, I'll go to this decimal point, which is for this number here. To the left, I have a 7. And to the right, I have a 1. What we can do next is, since we have a blank spot here, we can write a zero in that spot. Next, I'll write my plus sign, underline everything, and get to work. Just a brief reminder, the reason why lining up the decimal point is so important is because when we do that, the place values fall into the correct column. Now we can add everything in their proper place values. 6 plus 0 is 6. 5 plus 1 is also 6. I'll bring down my decimal point. And 0 plus 7 is 7. Making my final answer 7 and 66 hundredths. More commonly read as 7.66.